everyone and welcome to or welcome back to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida and here at the Cove, we like to do budgeting, finances, minimal and functional planning. But today I am going to be doing my budget for the week of March 27th through April 2nd. Um, Y'all, I know I haven't done a budget in a while. I was almost contemplating to stop doing my budgeting because um, income is growing in my hair business and I don't want people because personal people watch my account and I just didn't want people to think I'm rich because I'm not because if you can see I can barely pay this stuff <laughs> but anyway I think I'm gonna keep going because it will correlate with um things that I'm doing with the cash envelopes I am back cash stuffing I will try to remember to put a link up in the top so you can check out my latest cash stuffing video these inserts you can find down in the description box and they are on my shop site and let's check out last week y'all like i haven't been on in a couple weeks so uh the week of the 13th to the 19th i made 1700 that was i think going to be a slow week so i just guesstimated about 800 um i do have some new customers which i'm excited about um i have old ones coming back and i'm just blessed so um the income is increasing in hair i just guesstimated 1200 on my busy week because that's what's been going on and y'all i ended up making 1755 dollars i was rocking last week okay that's why i'd be so tired that i just i just be crashing on the weekend so i just want to do that things got paid so let's do the week of march 27th through April 2nd. Okay, so the source is here. Also, last week I did nails, so that was a little extra income. I think I'm going to start applying that to maybe um, savings challenges or debt or something like that. Um, so I'm guesstimating this week because it's a little slower, but... I'm just going to put a thousand because that's kind of the low end of what we've been doing here lately. Unless it's just like I'm off for three days or something like that. Um, no co, Norris Co. Um, I'm going to put a hundred. I don't know. And I'm, I'm doing ads now. I'm just trying to increase the income over there. We don't have any new box subscribers. Um, people are just purchasing from like my affiliates and things like that let's do the bills due for this week i'm gonna flip to my calendar real quick over here to the left we have car insurance due the 28th i paid GoDaddy last week that came out this week so i'll put that on the 27th and GoDaddy did come out i'm paying more towards my debt i gave them 50 and then car insurance is like 503 and some change. Um, I'll see and put the actual when they actually take the money out. It is supposed to come out today, so it'll normally come out after like 12. Um, on the 29th, we have an after pay. And that is $56.33. And then another after pay. I know y'all like Yoshida. What is going on with these after pays? Well, some things I have to after pay for the business. So, uh, so let's, oh, booth rent. We got booth rent. That's due on the first. And I don't know why I forget about that. I think it's because it's just an automatic, like, I'm going to pay it. And that's $250. Let's do some totaling. Oh, I didn't put miscellaneous, but so far, I'm not going to put anything down for miscellaneous because... So far, I don't have anything extra going on here. Um, let's do some totaling. So it looks like we have $910.79. I'm going to double check this because that doesn't make sense. Then, oh, well, it might. Let's double check. Okay, I wasn't going to put anything in the miscellaneous, but I am because this is income from last week. That's how I'm able to pay the car insurance. So I'm going to add 500 there because I'm like, oh, how am I going to pay this? But I left 
this in my account to cover my car insurance. So that is already there. Praise God. Last week was busy. And so um, really, let me just do some more calculating what I really typically got to come up with. $407. I'm going to put, use this highlighter here and just put in this 407.82. And the reason I'm doing this is so that I know that these, this is really typically what I got to come up with. This was already there. So I basically need $407 in my um, account. Um, sinking funds this week, y'all. Savings challenge. I'm doing the 52 week challenge. I normally don't fill this out because I normally don't have any money, but um, two weeks is getting 50. I kind of already have it set aside. I don't know what one and fives are going to get. I do high yield savings. I start out with $30. If I can do more, I do more. Also, you guys, I forgot to add in hubby over here. And I give him $50 a week. So he's actually the sinking fund. But uh, let me just move him over here. So I don't have to worry about messing up that total. And I'll wipe that out later. Let's see what I want to wipe them out over here. Okay, so we have hubby over here at fifty dollars. Um, one month ahead. Okay. Um, the I was saying in my cash stuffing video that I needed to pay like one forty five a month. No, it's one forty five a week. So we're gonna try to give them uh, fifty dollars this week, hopefully. So what else do I have in my fund? Oh, eating out, and I like to give eating out about uh, fifty dollars. So let's total total all this up because uh, we're a little up there. Fifty dollars. Two hundred and thirty dollars. I don't know about this. Um, I know I want to give my high yield savings 30. I'm just sticking to that. I'm coming to that. I've already given, set aside the money for the 52 week challenge. Hubby definitely is getting his 50. This one month ahead may go down a little bit and then eating out, um, that'll probably stay the same. <laughs> so let's calculate the 407 and the 230. Well, we already know what that is, right? $637. In total, prayerfully, we make this 1000 That leaves us some money to roll over to our first of the month bills. That's what I like to do. Um, I was watching Taylor Budgets, and she does zero-based budgeting, being self-employed. And I would love to do that, but I know I don't quite do it right. So, we'll get it together. But it looks like we can afford this in our budget. Um, like I said, the 500 is already taken care of. That's taking care of the car insurance expenses. I don't think I need gas this week. I may need some products. Let me add that. And this is for the salon. And I usually say products for the salon, supplies for um, Norris Code. So products, um, I think I just need some relaxer or something this week. Um, I'm going to put... 40 because I think I have a credit there. Um, supplies for I have all my things that I need for like the next two months. I've already ordered them, it's just a matter of them getting here on time. So I need some cardstock, it was something else that I needed. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna put 20 and that's 60, and we'll see debt payment. Um, I do want to give somebody, I'm really trying to knock down, I want to give um, T-Mobile, which is, T-Mobile is automated now, y'all. I haven't talked to y'all, but I automated T-Mobile finally. I'm so excited. I don't have to worry about that bill no more. But what I do is I give Capital One, because they're with Capital One, uh, $50. 
a week. And that is, my bill is already there for next month, but I'm giving them $50 a week. That is going to go towards my bill. Also bring down my balance. So we have 60, we have 50. So now y'all get to see me use this whole thing correctly. <laughs> uh, let's see. Income, total income is 1500 so far. No, excuse me, 1600 that's with Norris Cove Miscellaneous. I don't plan to um, use this. I actually put, oh, I have another envelope. It's a digital envelope, but I put $20 in my business saving. That's digital. Let me just put digital over here. So that's already gone. So this is $250. Okay. Got a lot of adding up to do. So we're going to just do $407. Subtract. So since I used, I transferred it out of some money that was in my business account, I'm going to go ahead and use that account. I'm going to add, I'm sorry, I'm not afraid. I'm going to add that into my budget, 1600 Okay. I know, it seems all over the place. I haven't done my budget on camera with y'all for a minute. But being that we have the 500 adding here, we got to add the 910. So let's do 910 plus uh, 250 plus the 60, and plus the 50. That brings us at 1270. Yoshida, yes, there we are, 1270 minus the 16. That leaves us with $330. That's what we have left. And I'm gonna find a way to zero base that. Um, so we should be able to have $50 in eating out. Um, looking at this number, now I know I can up my um, eating out budget, I could up hubby, I could up my high yield savings, I can probably catch up on my 52 week challenge. We're gonna do the one in five challenge, of course, with whatever's left. Um, yeah, so $230 in here, that's great. So let's fill in this. Okay, you guys, so that is it this week. A really quick run through just in case I had to edit out too much stuff. Um, we are budgeting for the week of March 27th through April the 2nd. Uh, we're estimating $1,000 in hair, $100 in no code, which is Norris Cove. Miscellaneous is $500. That is a rollover from last week's income to help pay for my car insurance. Um, and I'm paying for two cars. Okay. And then um, GoDaddy gets $50 after pay, $56.33. Another after pay for $51.49. Booth rent, uh, $250. And everything totaled up to 910. Now I had put this aside as as I really just need 407 to cover these because that 500 is already in the account. But then I later decided, hey, I need to put this 910 total away from this because that 500 is already there. If that makes sense. Okay, so then over here we have our sinking funds at 250 dollars. This is what everything is going to get. Um, and then over here expenses. I'm spending prop, um, roughly $40 on products. I'll, <clears throat> excuse me, actual this out next week. Supplies, 24 um, North Cove so far. Um, Capital One um, is in our debt. We're giving them 50, and that is just knocking down debt. Also, paying for my T-Mobile bill. My T-Mobile bill has already been automated here, and that's that. And I love that for me because <laughs> I've never done that before. And then we have uh, $330 left over if we make this in here. We already know this is there. And if we have the 100 in Norris Cove, I already know for a fact that $69, something like that, has is in my account. So we just have like $40 to make. So, yeah. And I took money from my business and added it to uh, this business savings. And I did that because I need to update my LLC, get caught up on my good standing, which is $300, plus I'm working on sales tax for them. It's a lot. <laughs> Don't think being an entrepreneur is just free money. No, ma'am. You got to pay to play. So that is all for this week, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, leave me a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment below. Let me know that you enjoyed today's video, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.